Hi, this is Debbie and thank you for joining me today as I play around with a fun distress oxide technique and iconic whale images from Hero Arts. The sets I'm going to be using today are the Starry Night Brushstroke background set, but to me this pattern just speaks of deep seas and waves. Also, I'm going to use the Color Layering Blue Whale Stamp and Die set. I've recently been expanding my collection of distress oxides and I now have the current complete set. This project was the one I had in mind while I was building my collection. The three colours I picked out for the deep sea background were cracked pistachio, peacock feathers and blueprint sketch. I felt a gradient of these would reflect the colours of the sea, from the lightest hues where the sun filters through the waves, to the darker colours as you descend it deep into the depths. I used Rain Gemini ink blenders to blend the three colours together. At first I was tentative about the amount of ink I was applying, but then as I got into a rhythm I used a heavier hand to make sure I got a really good covering of the ink. I went backwards and forwards with the three colours until I had a nice gradient between them. As the panel of card became covered with ink, I used another piece of card to protect the ink blending from my fingers. The oils from my fingers can leave prints on the ink blending, and also you'd get mucky fingers too, so using a piece of scratch paper prevents this. I'm going to use the Starry Night Brushstroke set to stamp with just plain water. This is a technique I saw Jennifer McGuire use, and I thought it would work really well for this background. I used a range of mini mister to spritz the stamp and then laid it on top of the ink blended panel. I left it there for 60 seconds and then lifted it to reveal the pattern starting to emerge. Water reactivates the ink in distress oxides and you get this bleached look where the water has sat. This effect is accentuated as the panel dries. I set the background to one side while I worked on stamping the colour layering blue whales. Now, despite their name, I'm not going anywhere near blue ink and I'm actually going to stamp these whales in yellow. I thought the yellow would contrast well with the blue and the colours and iconic images remind me of brightly coloured children's book illustrations. So for the base layer, I used squeeze lemonade and then for the second layer, I used wild honey distress oxide inks. I then used tin snips to break apart the matching dyes and I did the whale dye over the image and kept it in place with washi before running it through my die cutting machine. It was at this point that I realised I'd forgotten to stamp the final layered whale, that of his mouth and eye. I used a magnet to hold the whale in place while I lined up the last layer and then stamped it in walnut stained distress oxide ink. I wanted to have a pod of whales playing in the waves and so I stamped and die cut two more whales. I then die cut the background with a wonky rectangle die from Science Stamp. I added foam squares to the back of the whales and added them to the background at playful angles. I offset the final whale and then trimmed the overhang with a pair of scissors. I stamped a sentiment from the colour layering blue whale set on white card in Versafine Onyx Black ink and then used a scalpel and ruler to cut out. I added the sentiment with foam adhesive nestled between the whales and then added more foam adhesive to the back of the panel before mounting it on a white card base. I then used range multimedia matte to adhere some clear droplets from Pretty Pink Posh to represent bubbles. And that completes this card. I really enjoyed experimenting with stamping with water on an ink blended distress oxide background and the stamp layering for the whales was easy to align and they looked great fun stamped in an unusual colour. After I finished videoing I couldn't stop myself from making another card. Mainly I used the same supplies but instead of the Starry Night brushstroke stamp I used the wave stencil and spritzed water over the top and dabbed away with kitchen roll to reveal a, to reveal a similar bleached look. I didn't leave the water on quite as long for this second card and as you can see the result is more subtle. I'll leave links in the YouTube description below to the products that I've used today as well as a link to the coordinating blog post over at landyodadesign.com. I want to thank you for joining me today and if you've enjoyed this tutorial I'd be delighted if you subscribe to this channel. Thanks and I'll see you next time.